uh, hi everybody in the last video I showed you how to install uh, tail scale on your ugly mess and many people asked me how to set it up as an exit node so here we go you will of course need docker installed uh, log into your tail scale uh, portal add a device uh, the Linux server which is basically a client here you're going to tick this box which says use it as the exit node as usual the authentication key and once you say generate install script you see this time you're going to need two things from here you will need the authentication key which is right after this auth key is equal to so we'll copy this and we also need this parameter which is advertise exit node so what happens is now when we run our container we have to make sure that the um, container advertises itself as the exit node we'll copy this as well now go back to your uh, ugreen open your uh, docker container and we are going to create a new container i have already downloaded the latest image of tail scale use this confirm it we'll leave them as they are uh, PUID and GID these two are important it automatically fills them up but if you want to check whether these are correct or not then you can go to project and once you say create a project you will see that PUID and GUID are um, mentioned here right okay so go back to the container we create a new container uh, in the environment variable we are going to need three environment variable one is the TS auth key which is the authentication key that we had earlier copied okay let me copy it properly this is the key that we copied earlier we need a directory to hold the configuration so this is ts state dir and we'll map it to ts state dir and we'll have to of course create uh, create this directory we'll have to mount this directory we'll do that when we come down and we also need one additional uh, setting which is a ts additional argument so if you see here this advertisement thing it goes into the extra argument so this is the environment variable for us and the value for this is advertise as the exit node all right so this is your authentication key this is your extra argument and the um, state will be saved in this directory which does not exist yet but we will make it here so add it I'm going to take this directory and then mount it here sorry not here I'm going to mount it to TS stator and the permission will be read and write network mode would have to be host that's it let's look at it again authentication key uh, the, the directory that's going to hold the state uh, the extra argument for advertising itself as the exit node and mounting of the directory and network would be host mode we confirm it and wait it's running when we go to our machine you will see that this is connected and it shows exit node but um, uh, with an exclamation mark um, it says that the machine is requesting to be used as an exit node and to make it exit node we have to do something we have to do the edit route settings it tells you right here you have to edit the route settings so click on this click edit route settings click on this use it exit node save it and you will see that this is being used as the exit node as simple as that so now when you're connected to this device okay so in your windows it will show you as an exit node and give you the option to be connected to this so i'll show you that option as well in a while all right so when you uh, go to the other machine and if you look at your tail scale now it will show you the exit node and this is the exit node that you will be able to now select if i select it now all my traffic from this machine will go through the exit node and you can check that with what is my ip address whether you know you really um, uh, are getting an ip whether it really shows your ip address as the exit node ip address uh, that's all that you need to do uh, if you have uh, any further questions please feel free to ask them in the comment box and i will uh, i'll answer them as soon as i can thank you